Hi everyone. Now you don't see too many of these being reviewed on YouTube. I only found two or three reliable sources um, on, during my search. They are the biodegradable non-woven nursery bags is, um, or biodegradable bags. If you're looking them up on Amazon, which is where I got these. And I'm using these mainly because I'll be sharing my plants and I wanted to get away from plastic as much as possible. Also, these are a little bit less cost prohibitive. Um, and you get a lot of them. Unfortunately, that's, those are the only pros that I could so far find. Um, affordability and less plastic. But other than that, this is made of pro pole, well, polypropylene which is still a plastic they did not degrade they will degrade eventually but they did not degrade like within a season and I guess it depends on your climate but in mine it definitely wouldn't degrade in a season and it's a lot like those peat bags the little little peat pellets that you get there they've got that woven mesh around them those barely degrade either so it's a lot like that they will break down eventually and seemingly a little bit less plastic in the world so I feel slightly okay about that now I got the 3.93 inches by 4.72 and that was supposed to be the size of it once it was filled but that is a lie <laughs> once you fill it up you end up with a little bit more than half of that size on all sides and then so it's a lot this particular one ended up being a lot smaller than i was hoping for so i'm gonna have to go back and buy the next sizes up also the reviews are the few friends they are a pain in the butt to fill in i was lucky enough to find one of my kids toys to maneuver so that i could use it to fill these extremely tiny holes and it's still it's going to take me so much more time than if I had the plastic pots. Also, they come, let's see, you know, they're all flattened and everything, but I do not like the look of them filled up with the, the seams exposed. Let me find one. So they would sit like that once they're filled. I prefer the look of it when it's turned inside out. So that's about, I've clocked it about 10 seconds per bag that it takes me to flip these over and reshape them. And I'll probably get better and faster as I do several hundred. It's, um, you definitely want to pre-moisten, not sopping wet, just slightly moist. You want that compaction in the bags. Um, It'll just help to fill it better, and yeah, that'll save you some headache. And also, what else? Yeah, that's about it. So let me just show you a few minutes, a few, I'll do a few bags for you, and show you what it's like. So this is one of the toys my kids have. It's a funnel of sorts with a wide mouth. And I use the, the end of my shovel to pack it in there.
so various, various tools, and I find this one to be the most efficient for me because I can pack the soil in. As I'm filling it, and then how many can we fit? I haven't put these together yet. Let's see. So in your standard tray, you could fit 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah, and then you could just bottom water, as they say, versus top watering, which is nice. It is breathable, which is also nice for air pruning. So definitely, if you were doing a few hundred of these, then I'd say go for it. But if you were thinking of doing thousands, then definitely not. That is, um, that is time not spent wisely. All right, let me get back to um, processing several hundred of these. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.